So welcome back. So this is our current screen and the next steps that we are going to do is we're going to create the verification button and the labels at the very bottom that I showed you before. So let's dive right into it and let's create the uh, the views for this particular case. So we're going to create a verification button which is basically the login or sign up button where you click it and it's gonna happen something's gonna happen so we got the the base button which I used before uh, which I showed you before that I did I subclass the button and added some features to make uh, using buttons much easier let me show you your base button and right here we see I did something that if you initialize a base button you can give it a title our title is going to be uh, from the get-go it's going to be sign in because that's the default uh, value when you open the app you want to have a sign in first not a sign, a sign up and the title color is going to be white because we have a black background and the background color of our uh, verification button is going to be accent which is a darker black so it's going to be uh, highlighted in the background our font is going to be a regular font you should uh... alright I haven't covered this okay I'll let me do this first and then I'll, I'll, I'll explain return button and of course we want to have a target so if you click something uh, if you click the button something's gonna happen and selector it's gonna be a uh, verification button tapped and the event's gonna touch up inside so let me do that for real quick so at the very bottom we're gonna create a uh, we're gonna create you know objective objective C function called verification button which is going to be our verification button tapped which is going to be our uh, event handler for the button alright so right here it's so we're going to check if it is the sign in form or the sign up form because we gotta know somehow right and if we if it is a sign in then check the firebase authentication if the form is valid or not if it is not valid then give out an error alright so back at the top We've got um, our accent and our regular font and our accent background. And if you remember in the first part in the setup, I put in a file called UI color and a file UI font. And right here, I predefined the colors and put them in a class so it can. So I can use them with the dot, dot accent, dot background, and it's this is very useful. You can use this too in your in your apps. And the same I applied to the U, uh, UI font. And the thing why I used a uh, nil coalescing operator is because if you return it, because UI font is uh, an optional by by nature and if this somehow fails we can use a default dot font which is the normal uh, system font from Apple so that's it alright so we created our verification button and now we need to create the forgot password label and the bottom account label which uh, 
if you click on it changes its text we're gonna create that private uh let me see it's a private Lazy var. Oh, forgot password label. Uh, it's gonna be a base label. And let label equals base label. Again, forgot your password. the font uh, dot regular it's gonna be centered uh, white mm, number of lines is one we can delete this break mode a little typo here let's copy this and just paste it in there since it's yeah it should be yeah, it should be good all right so we got a pa I forgot password label don't forget to open close it here to initialize it all we got a forgot password label so the next step is going to be to create the bottom account label right uh lazy var bottom account label this is going to be a normal UI label and I'm telling you why in a, in a few seconds because my base label that I myself created oh, return that I myself created I only used it for normal text so it is expected that I don't really change what I uh, what I use as a text but in this case in our case we're gonna change the text and we're not gonna use a normal text we're gonna use an attributed text because one part of our text is gonna be uh, looking different than another part and this is possible with attributed strings or attributed texts let me show you gonna create a let at attributed string called an s an s mutable attributed string and we can pass it an attributed string an s attributed string like so dot string and careful dot string is an extension extension that I made uh, inside UI kit right here the very bottom right here to make uh, attributed strings much easier to make uh, creating attributed strings much easier so don't confuse it uh, don't be confused if you don't have it uh, in other projects so you can use my extension you can use extensions if you want so this makes it much easier look so you just enter the string that you want to uh, pass in which is gonna be don't have uh, an account and the font for that one is gonna be uh, regular and the color is gonna be white uh, light gray sorry light gray so why don't you have an account so we're in the sign in form, right? And we want to uh, tell the user, hey, you don't have an account? Then come on, sign in, uh, sign up. So if you click on don't have an account, it's gonna change the whole screen to the sign up form. And now we're gonna use attributed string to append another attributed string. So we're gonna add another at attributed string. and. I forgot to mention it. You have to have a white space at at the end right here, or else it would stick together where uh, uh, the next string. So, same procedure. 
and ns added attribute string dot string and now I'm gonna type in create one with a font of a semi bold the color is gonna be white okay and now we're gonna uh, pass in the attributed string to the label like so attributed text equals attributed string and of course uh, you're gonna make sure it is user action in interaction enabled and lastly we're gonna add a gesture recognizer so we if you tab it if we tap it it's gonna uh, it's gonna uh, recognize that we are tapped it and then UI tap gesture recognizer because it's ha it's a tab and uh, targets gonna be self again and the action selector uh, gonna call it uh, bottom account label tapped all right gonna copy that go down create another function Uh, objective C pride funk and gonna le uh, let it build and it should work. It should work. It should build, but would not. We didn't. Uh, if you watched my videos until now, you should know that one step is missing, and that step is actually uh, constraining those views onto our screen because we created the views, but we didn't give them a frame or anything, so we don't see them. So before we do that, before we uh, actually run it, let's create the uh, constraints. So the first constraint is going to be the verification button, and the verification button is going to be below uh, below the uh, password button. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to tell, uh, going to say view dot add sub view because we're not adding it to any of our container views. We're adding it to to the uh, whole screen, All right? Add the verification button, and by the way. You don't have to uh, use my autolet extensions. I'm using it because for me it's easier. You can use whatever you like. You can do it uh, your way or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna constrain it. We're gonna uh, use the bottom bottom anchor of our verification button to constrain it to the password uh, uh, the password container field bottom anchor and we're gonna give it some padding just 30 should be enough and of course we're gonna constrain it to the left and the right anchors of our screen so it's gonna stretch itself out constrain it to the uh, parent which is our view give it a give it a padding as well 30 trailing anchor as well which is the right anchor and I made a minus 30 and I made a little typo here actually it should be 50 and of course the height I'm gonna give it a height of 55. And right, right below, right below our uh, verification button, we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna constrain the uh, forgot password label.
so I'm gonna first center center it and I'm gonna say this <coughs> if you're constraining labels I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but if you're constraining labels most of the time if you know it's gonna be one line only one line then you only need two uh, two constraints you don't need four only two so the top anchor of our uh, label is gonna be constrained to the bottom anchor of our work verification button and we're gonna give it a padding of 15 and we're gonna do uh, the bottom label uh, bottom label constraints we're gonna set them to the very bottom right here all right that and again we only need two constraints so we can actually copy this to make things easier for us and just bottom account labeling and we only need to change the bottom constraint bottom anchor and change this to the Peter bottom anchor and give it a little padding from the top up uh, from the bottom up and let's run this hopefully we're gonna see something I think we're gonna see something so it's gonna be useful to you guys by the way thank you guys all for watching this far if you are watching um, Thank you to all my subscribers, 45 or 46 already. So, thank you guys, you're awesome. All right, what we're seeing right here is, um, well, we did a little mistake. As you can see, it is pushed up against our password field text fields, and as you can see here, we did not constrain the top anchor to the bottom anchor we constrained the bottom anchor of our text field which is right this right here to the bottom anchor so it is inside our container view right now so if we change it up to top anchor it should work just fine oh yeah thank you guys for watching this far all for all my subscribers I love you very much and that you are the guys uh you're my, my motivation that I can keep going doing any videos so thank you if you watch this if you've seen this uh, if you've seen this uh, this speech just write thanks in the comments below as you can see it is all working perfectly we have our don't have an account create one uh, forget your password and our sign in. So our next step is going to be if you click on the don't have an account or create one, it's gonna uh, change everything into uh, the sign up.